Are you all packed? Are you in the luggage? This is your bag. In Come on, let's go. Go, go inside. Ready to go? Good girl. We're going to LA. We're all acting like tourists and we're going home. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. You're excited. Yeah. You miss it. Morning and welcome back to our first day in LA. Are you excited right. to be home? <laughs> we got that small We got up super early, as you can tell. He's already really unloading. So Romeo is vending at the Silver Lake flea market today. He vends here actually a lot. It's not as big as the Rose Bowl, but it has tons of thrifted clothing, really, really, really good vendors. And so he vends here, tries to do it at least a couple of times a month. So we're here, we're helping. I don't know how much we're gonna help, but we're gonna try. of us being in LA. I think I rhymed a little bit. <laughs> Did I rhyme? Yeah. He's not listening. <laughs> It has been so good being back in LA. I'm finally getting like back into the swing of things. I'm finally f feeling like I know where things are again. I don't know why, but I forgot where everything was. Everything's not moved. It's just, I don't remember. It's been four months, which is insane. So it has been good to be here. It's an exciting day because we're gonna go thrift shopping. Of course, I'm always excited when we go thrift shopping, but I'm looking for very specific things. So I'm excited and scared that I'm not gonna be able to find those things. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little more about like what I'm looking for, what we're on the hunt for. Fingers crossed we're gonna find it, but we just got our HelloFresh box. So we're gonna make some lunch first so that we're fueled and ready to go because we always eat something bad when we're in a rush and wanna get to the next thrift store. So let's see what we got. This week we got Santa Fe pork tacos. Oh my gosh. Barbecue cheddar burgers, spicy maple chicken. We've had both of these before. They're so good. Oh, the tacos, easy. Yeah, tacos it's like well. quick, yeah, tacos for That's sure. Good. Look, this is 20 minutes. Cook time. Prep time, five minutes, 20 minutes, cook time. One pan, so easy. And all of their packaging is made from almost entirely recycled materials. And then of course we recycle them afterwards as well. Truly guys, I cannot express to you how much I love HelloFresh. I've even gotten my parents into ordering HelloFresh every week. And one week I think my mom and I messed up or she, I thought she was ordering it and she thought I was ordering it. My dad is a very picky eater and he never likes to try new things. And that week we didn't have HelloFresh and he came out and he's like, are we not doing HelloFresh anymore? We all love it so much. HelloFresh has so many amazing meals that you can pick from every week, which also breaks you out of the recipe rut. You don't have to go to the grocery store. Everything is pre-portioned, so you don't have as much food waste. I felt like we were wasting so much food all the time because I would never go through everything that I needed for a recipe. So prepping for me is so time consuming and even trying to figure out what to eat is is frustrating. Like we're always asking each other, like what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Where do you want to go? Wanna I don't know. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? <laughs> Exactly. So we love that having HelloFresh meals in the fridge eliminates the stress. A HelloFresh subscription is also super flexible. You can change your delivery days, you can skip a week if you need to, and you can up the serving size to feed more people for a cute dinner party. So yummy. So if you guys wanna try HelloFresh, and we highly recommend that you do, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna12 at checkout to get your first 12 <laughs> meals for free. <laughs> He's ready to eat. He's like, this is so good, I wanna eat. But you'll get 12 free meals and you'll get free shipping. So try them out. So we're gonna eat real fast. Mmm, it was good. You wanna try mine? <laughs> that was so good, you guys. But the dishes are just gonna have to wait until later. So try out HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna12 to get 12 free meals plus free shipping. We are going to head to the thrift store. And what I'm looking for is Thanks to do a room makeover here at the house, I'm gonna be redoing our laundry room. I know, exciting, 
the one room I've never touched in our house. I'm redoing that. So I want to look for like some storage things. I know I need two frames for some very special art that my mom painted me. <laughs> I'm very excited to show you guys. And then also I'm looking for a few things to do a thrift flip on. So it's always a hit or miss if you find some things that are going to work for a space or going to work for thrift flips. So we have a lot of thrift stores to hit in Santa Monica and then on the way back here. So we will see you guys at the first thrift store. I got a feeling. That this could be a little more than feelings. Well, let's find some stuff to flip. If I'm being honest, pretty frame. This is a cool little desk. $44.99. I wonder if there's any sales today. Obviously, very cheap. This is ugly. That would be such a pretty dresser redone. $45.99. Ooh. But imagine it a different color. I don't need a dresser though. I think the handles would be so pretty, like a, a vintage kind of like brass color. You could spray them and then refinish. I really need two frames for the laundry room. One larger and one smaller. I have to be specific sizes to fit the space and to fit the art. Sometimes they have frames that have art in them already that you could just take out. I kind of want the same vibe coming from my gallery wall and the breakfast nook to kind of carry into the laundry room since they're connected. It has to have like some gold in it, a vintage look. I don't see anything here that looks like that. Ooh, I love finding cutting boards. Four dollars. It's so small. This is the right size frame, but it's so expensive because of the art. This is more of their boutique part, so everything's going to be a little more expensive. Sometimes I find some good things here just for life, not to flip. Little creative co op bowl. Look at this. I really like this for the laundry room. Like, I wish it was a little bigger to hold like my wool balls for um, the dryer. I kind of want to make something like this lamp. It's got round stacks. So I'm looking for a good base for a lamp. And white is 50% off today. So I think that this could be a good bit. I don't like the shade. I have shades that I can use, but the, the base is good. It would be like round, 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 round. I found two frames. This one's nice. I mean, I like the gold. It'll tie in from the breakfast area art that I have. I think it's the right size, but I'm also kind of into this one. I like that it's a little more wooden, but it still has the gold detail, which will kind of tie in from the other space, maybe. If not, I can always use them for something else. Oh my gosh, $150. I mean, because it's a part print. You guys, this is so pretty. It's $15, but it's just all the etching on it and even the bottom. It's gorgeous. Like, do I need this? <laughs> Bar cart. Look how cool. It's got this like patinaed brass kind of insert. Look at the wheel. And make all the hands. I love this. Like with a little bit of like updating $35. Wait, you guys, I'm so excited about that bar cart. I just really need some love. You know what I mean? Like, I love the wheels. I love all the brass like detailing, like the hardware on it, like here on the sides here and the patina kind of brass inlay. Oh, it's like really cool. I don't know what I could do with it, like a thrift flip. Because I kind of like like it as it. I have a good feeling. We're gonna find something. Okay. <laughs> Wait, could it be good? <laughs> She's good. I hope that fits. For $7.99, this is the cheapest I've seen. $24.99 is not bad. I actually can't believe that I found this. I really hope it fits. Very into this lamp. White ceramic with black and brass. Kind of a vibe. I kind of like it. <gasps> we have a 
a haul. Actually, quite a big haul because I found some things at the flea market when I was there all day with Romeo and his booth. I got this shirt. I don't think, I'm pretty sure this isn't vintage. I'm pretty sure that I've seen this before, but it's a Paris France. I thought it was so cute, like a little crew neck. And the sleeves are kind of like a little bit shorter so I could roll them up, so I love that. I also got this bracelet to add to my stack. I actually got this vintage Timex watch a while ago in Texas for a dollar. I got another watch too. I have this one that I love that's gold vermeil, and then I got a stack, so it's so pretty. I got these Versace pants. I think they're gonna be a little baggy through the legs on me. I need to try them on, but look. I think, okay, Versace. I saw this girl at the flea market that had these sage green and tan patchwork denim jeans on. Like, these are so cool. I wanna make something like that because I love like special denim like that. So I got these. I got these. I think I stole these. Did I steal these from you? Yeah. <laughs> These were free for me. I love tan and beige and neutral colors. So I got these 501 Levi's. Romeo also had the cutest pair of overalls that already had paint on them. Look how cute these are. And they're like just torn and they have paint all over them already. I was like, that's gonna be so cute. Have you ever seen the movie Monster-in-Law with Jennifer Lopez? And it's in the very beginning and she's like painting a wall or doing something artistic and she's wearing overalls with like a cute undertop. And I'm like, I always wanted to look like that when I paint. He had another pair. I took those two just to try them out. These were actually really cool. I love the color. Tradition Natural Style London London Design Team. Okay, these are so cute. I love these. Romeo's friend that was in the booth, selling in the booth with him, had these New Yorker totes that he had found and he thrifted. Also pulled this from Romeo. <laughs> Look how cute this is! I love tan. Anything this color is just amazing. It's guest jeans. And then, you guys, I did mention on my Instagram that I was gonna be at the flea market for anyone that was in the area to come out and say hi to Kinsley and I, and we were there all day, and so many of you guys came, and I'm so, 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 it was, my heart was like so full. And then it was even fuller. A subscriber, her name is Stephanie. She came and gave me the sweetest gift. Just with the attention to detail on all of her packaging, how amazing her story was. She has blankets and I think she's introducing some more products. It's so soft. Look at all the tassels. That was all at the flea market. And then, look at this bar cart you guys i'm kind of in love with it no i'm not kind of in love with them i'm actually in love with it we bundled romeo stuff with mine so this ended up being 20 bucks it needs some work i'm gonna do it in the thrift flip video so be sure to check out the sunday's video but i may change the stain color it's it needs some <laughs> some structuring. I love the patina and the brass on the shelves. We're not drinkers, so we don't have a use for a bar cart in the alcohol sense, but we have all the uses for a coffee bar cart. <laughs> so we'll see what we do with it or how we use it. It doesn't even have to have that stuff on it. I just thought it was so stinking cool. The wheels are amazing. The hardware is amazing. But how do you pass something like that up? It's just so vintage-y. I wasn't really looking for storage baskets or anything like that. Kind of storage stuff like this. I have these wool balls that replace dryer sheets. And so they're in like a little cotton bag right now. So I wanted something pretty to display them with. And I loved this container. It looked, it's glass, it looked more vintage-y. And so I just thought that was really cool. I wish it was larger. I don't know how many of the balls are gonna fit in here. I thought that would be pretty in the laundry room on a shelf for storage. And then I needed two frames for some very special art that my mom painted me that you guys will see. You have to stay tuned, I'm not gonna show you. You have to stay tuned for the makeover itself. My mom is just a super talented artist. I am like blown away every time she does something. She did paint all of the art for me for the gallery wall in the breakfast area. I had the frames already and then she made the art to fit. This time I had the art and I needed to find the frames to fit which was a little trickier um, I think I'm making it work and this was just one kind of outing to try and find frames but I found a few options I found this one don't look at this just the frame itself which I thought was pretty and then I got this one so 
I was thinking maybe I don't want them both gold because there's two frames that are gonna go together. So I got this one because it was a little more rustic, but it still had that gold detailing right here. This one was a little pricier though. This one was $14.99. So anytime you see them with art in them, they're gonna be pricier. <laughs> because then I found this one is a little bigger than I need it to be. It will still work with the art, but I would have to mat it. Could work. It was $7.99. So when you find, look at the just the frames, if you're ever at the thrift stores and stuff, try and not find them with art because then it's just gonna be more pricey. It was really pretty. So I got this lamp and I did not test it and I can show you why, because there's a broken bulb still in the lamp that we couldn't get out and I was worried about us cutting ourselves in the thrift store. And so I was like, well, the, the cord looks okay, so I'm not gonna stress over it. And I thought it was a good shape for what I wanna do. Stay tuned for this weekend. Make sure that you're subscribed with the bell notification turned on for both channels um, so you know when this video goes live to check out how that comes together. I need to look here to see if I have any older thrift flips that I never got around to doing that I can like add into the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like traveling back to LA with us and going thrift shopping and flea market shopping. We have a lot of other fun things coming up. We have the Rose Bowl flea market this weekend that I'm taking you guys with me to. We're going to Disneyland. <laughs> We're doing really, really fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I will see you guys very, very soon. I'm uploading twice a week here on the vlog and then once over on my other channel for DIY and decor content. So I will see you guys again next week. Kinsley, you're gonna come say bye? Hey, hi. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Oh wow, that's a, that's. All that happened to me? <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> Hello, Fresh. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>